All right, just saying that we up. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ahashem, Yahushai, Ahashem, Maka, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and those who are well. Peace and salutations to all the sins of Yaakim, endured afflictions, making a call in election sure, Shalom. Okay. Shabbat Kabar. It's the brother Yitazaka. And uh, we're back with another one. Lord willing to be edifying to the elect. Yahweh Bashim Haushai. Yahweh Kakadash Barakadam. To all the sincere listeners who may hear this. Um, this one's going to be called Prophet Among Them. It was just uh, inspired off of, um, I was scrolling through, you know, my old videos. And I um, seen this one is actually, the date is April 27th, 2019. You know, this is uh, as of yesterday, about 20 months ago. And um, this just through the spirit, you know, that we was actually going into uh, Bill Gates, you know, and uh, Maxine, what he was doing really in Africa, right? Shalom, Yahabashim Shabbat Shalom, Yahabashim Shabbat Shalom, Yahabashim Shabbat Shalom. It's just through the spirit and inspired me, like, man, you know, about 20 months ago, you know, the mass majority wasn't uh, concerned about no Maxine or Bill Gates and what he was doing, you know. But, um, you know, it just, you know, shows like, hey, man, the prophet, the prophet this is the actual all right, work of a prophet to be um, prophesied, man. But I was going to place, you had something to add, bro? No, oh, no, you got it, brother. I'm going to just play a few minutes of this and then we'll get some pre's. Lord wouldn't be out of fine. Oh, me. You trust this guy? Look at that smile. You trust him? I wouldn't trust him to sweep my fucking kitchen. Let alone uh, put something in a in, 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 uh, in a supposed drug to um, tell me that it's good for me and my son's daughter. All right. All right. Meanwhile, he ain't gonna have his kids take this out thing. No. That's what the crazy that's thing me. is. That's me something like that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> They just, they just, uh, man, man. These are high level witches. When That's you look right. up, when you look up the word Genesis, right? I think you did. Oh, but besides that. Yeah. When you type in the word Genesis, who is the original? When you think of Genesis, brother, the went into this. Uh, Margaret Sanger was the original Genesis. And she made the bold claim that that, that name John, that black people are weeds that need to be exterminated. She said this. All right, and what's one of the ways she um, began that program? Through a program called Eugenesis. What did they create? They created Planned Parenthood. Where is Planned Parenthood? In every so called Negro, Black, or Negro, Latino, Native American neighborhood. That's by design. Right? That's by design. But our people, our people, will, uh, you know, who will get on TV because they're cool and sell out, and they'll sell you a picture that Planned Parenthood is good for you. It's not just about abortion. That's the first thing they always say. It's not just about abortion. Well, you're right. It's about vaccination, too. Yeah. You know? right. I just pulled up this little article. It says, death about vaccination. The Gates Foundation in the new eugenics. Um, um, you know, that's just an example. And, you know, low one, you know, I'll put this in the description. If anyone wants to, um, you know, check it out, you know, the audio is not as uh, as clear you know as it is now but um you know it's just um like man you know we was actually going into this you know a couple of years ago and it's just like you know now we see this actually coming to pass you know but um from here i guess we'll just go ahead and get to it ezekiel 33 time but this is the prophet ezekiel chapter 33 the point is in 33. Let me start up. Uh, yeah, you, you can start at 30. Okay. This is Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. It says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. How about you, so it's like uh, our people, you know what I'm saying? They 
like they, they'll listen they'll listen to the words that you know we teach they'll listen to uh you know brothers in their different videos and what they're saying and they can believe that's a possibility but they don't really like uh take it serious you know what i'm saying it's just like oh, okay some more knowledge to know like uh you know learning about the illuminati or something or learning about how you know the music industry is wicked or you know learning about how you know uh uh, learn about some like Pizzagate or you know some kind of underground, underground uh, information or something. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, a lot of our people look at the, the truth, but they don't really like. Okay, understand that this is this is the real deal. This is this is the real deal, Holyfield, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really what it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really what's gonna happen. Just like prime example, the brothers uh Shamar. And uh, Kabar did that video, you know, almost two years ago, stating mm -hmm. about how uh, Bill Gates been had this vaccination uh, in, in, in works, you know, and had been had, you know, doing doing these type things throughout the, the earth, you know what I'm saying, primarily in Africa, you know what I'm saying? So our people, they'll hear something like that taken in, but they don't really just understand or, 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 or take heed to the severity of it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. God. Yeah, you, you was on the video too, if you remember. Oh, you was, oh was there. Bro, you were as well. God, you was man. there, yeah, man. It, yeah. Yeah, it, it was back when we was doing the hangouts, you know? Okay, Kyle. Yep. Yep, That's see? Why. You remember this? <laughs> oh, okay, Kyle. Nah, yep. Jeez. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This is, hey, man. You know, prophets, hey, man, this is a job of a prophet, man. You know, we're speaking things. You know, to existence, as they say, you know, it's really something that was already written. You know, the spirit of the Lord. All right. Has the prophets. All right. Prophesying. You know, this is how the Most High has it set up. Mm -hmm. Verse 31, it says, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how our people are. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, we we'll tell you about that. What's that Isaiah 29? Not where it say, uh, um, you'll pull it for me. It's a lot. Um, I know you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of escaping me right now. Where it say, uh, uh, with their lips, they do honor me. I know you. How was I quoted it? In mm -hmm, right. Um, is it is it is it Isaiah 29? I got it. Yeah, kind of, the water, brother. Kind of. This is the prophet Isaiah 29 and verse 13. It says, Wherefore the Lord saith, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and mm -hmm. their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Right, right. Yeah, so that's how our people are. It's just their natural nature anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like our people, they don't really like take heed to things or take things serious like they'll say oh i understand it i see what's going on yeah that's right you know what i'm saying that's cool and everything but they don't really just like you know jump on board you know what i'm saying like they'll say oh i could oh, i could i could see bill gates doing something like that but they're not gonna like actually prepare themselves to you know escape you know the the, the things that's coming from the enemy you know what i'm saying like they'll say i i, I love i love god or i love the, the, the things that you brothers are doing, but they don't really like, they don't, they don't, they, they're not with it though. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't do it. You know what I'm saying? The only time Jake really want to do something, speaking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, our people, is when something get real. You know what I'm saying? Like when really when things really start popping off, then that's when they want to get on board. But that's that's the thing about it. When things start popping off, things is too late. You know what I'm saying? Like you you got to get it while it's hot, you know? Jake's already know that, like you know, growing up with different uh, other siblings, or you know, you growing up with uh, multiple family members. You already know, if, like you, if, if if your parents bring some food home, you better eat the food while it's there. You know what I'm saying? Because there ain't no guarantee it's gonna be, you know. So you gonna be like, well, I just say that for later. No, they finna dig in, man. You know. Uh, that was it on Isaiah. Um, yeah, that was it, brother. I just wanted to make that quick point. Okay. Back in Ezekiel 33, in verse 31, it says, And they come unto thee as 
The people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. It says, verse 32, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of our people, man. Mm -hmm. I remember one time, um, either it was at camp when I was watching brothers. It might have been, you know, I was watching the brothers in Philly. But they were saying something along the lines of, uh, yeah, man. Y'all saying the truth, man. Everything y'all saying is true, you know. But yeah, I'm a Muslim, you know. Like, what's the, <laughs> what, like, really? Like, so you agree with everything we're saying, but like, you're still gonna just go ahead and, you know, uh, commit idolatry, man. You know, this thing, the things that we are speaking, you know, the, the Israelites, all right, the, the Hebrew Israelites, all right, we're the only so-called belief system, all right, who uh, are actual prophets, man. We're speaking things. All right. We're piecing up current events. All right. We're breaking down things that happened thousands of years ago or that was written thousands of years ago, you know, and we're uh, connecting it with uh, today, you know, and future events. You know, no other belief system so-called is doing that, man. Mm -hmm. But they, they, they're going to see. They're going to see, man. Verse 33 says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Yep. So that's that's when they gonna know. <laughs> that's when they that's when they gonna know that oh, okay, these men were sent by Yahweh Al Shah's when the words that we're speaking actually come to pass, man. You know what I'm saying? This but that's what it takes for our people, man. Our people have to really like, you know, what the Jews require a sign. You know what I'm saying? They 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 have to see things, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want your how about Shah to show you nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, your how about Shah is a great and dread, dreadful, you know, terrible power, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he, like who can stand before the majesty of your how about Shah, man? You know what I'm saying? You don't want your how about Shah to show you nothing, man. So just play show and tell with you, man. You know, because once your how about Shah show his hand, that's it, man. You know, he ain't finna play with you. You know, mm -hmm. right. Kind of reminds me of uh, I know you said you uh, you seen power not too long ago. It was a part probably towards the end, like the finale, and uh, it was one of the dudes got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? He ran up on a dude that snitched or whatever. He's like, man, you know, so what you about to do? He's like, man, if I told you, I'm about to kill you. You know what I'm saying? So he told him, then he killed him. <laughs> you know yep, yep. So that just goes to show you people people uh, they they they're not gonna uh, take it seriously until it's too late. You know, a lot of people, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you guys are on. I got, yeah, I got, I got two quick ones. Um, can you, you'll get Hosea five and fifteen for me, Baba Kasha. It's Hosea chapter five and verse fifteen. It says, "I will go and return to my place, so they acknowledge their offense and seek my face." In their affliction, they will seek me early. Con, you got it, bro. Mm hmm That's a lot of people, man. You know, they're not going to uh, seek Yahab Bashim Hashai, you know, until there's some type of affliction, you know? You know, I mean, there's, a, there's some type of affliction today. But once it gets uh, once it gets real, you know, as they say, you know, once it really hits the fan, and that's when it's like, all right, you know, this uh, the, 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 uh, those guys that are out there, you know, on the streets, you know, yelling at people. Telling people about, you know, the white man is the devil. I, I'm, I see what they're saying, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because they actually see things now, you know. Right. They're going to start seeking how about you, how shy, you know, when things start to get, get real. But at that time, hey, man, well, willing, they got some knowledge and wisdom that's going to have them stable, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shalom, how about you, how about you, how about you, how about you, I got a, uh, I got another quick one too. It's in Proverbs one. It's uh Proverbs one and uh, can you start it like uh, um, twenty? Well, I get, I, I guess you just read uh thirty two. Well, hold on, it's a lot. You're just read twenty 
24 and 25. I mean, 24 through 26, then just read 32. Bible Okay. It's Proverbs 1 and 24. It says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm -hmm. But ye have set at nut all of my counsel and would none of my reproof. Mm -hmm. Jumping down to 32. You read 26 as well? It's a lot. Yep. It says, Proverbs 1 and 26 says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that, that link up with uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Uh, it said, uh, be not deceived for Yahweh Shema Shah is not mocked. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shema Shah is not, uh, you know, toyed with or, or played with, you know. You know, I tell you that every word in Proverbs 30, chapter, every word of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah is pure. You know what I'm saying? So Yahweh Shema Shah is not you know, uh, has his man pushing words and, you know, warning our people of the things to come down the pipeline for no reason, man. It's so that you can escape these things, man, because uh, uh, this, this is, uh, this, this, this is what, you know, this, you, you, you're going to be, you're going to pretty much, the things that you was taking lightly, you know, is going to be your own detriment. Like when things start really happening unto you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's going to, <laughs> that's that's gonna be your fault, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Yahweh Shimashah, he did his part, you know. His men, you know what I'm saying? They 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 did their you know did their best, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever whatever starts to fall upon you, you know, that's 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 your that's your problem from that point, you know what I'm saying? You should have like been taking heat. Mm -hmm. So like uh -huh. you, you can you read 27 to 28 too? Uh, my fault, brother. So like you. Kind of not. Verse uh, back in Proverbs one and verse twenty seven, it says, "When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction come as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you." Verse twenty eight. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's going to happen, you know, because our people they always want to late wait till the last minute. Like that's just, that's how they say about our people in the world. Like that's like a uh, a saying for you know the nations and our people you know they speak amongst each other and, and, and say and do they be like oh uh you can't uh jake ain't never on time or these these guys ain't never on time or you know you know niggas so to speak they love to proc procrastinate you know what i'm saying like this that's how our people are we always like wait to the last minute you know what i'm saying before we do something but you know <laughs> this 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 word ain't been spoken for all these years you know, for for no reason, man. Men ain't going out on a week, you know, on 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 a on a on a weekend, week out basis. You know what I'm saying? And all different type of elements, no matter what, to preach for fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they, mm -hmm. they, we, we ain't doing these videos every day just to do them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this is literally like warning from Yahweh Shimao Shah. You know, let let you know, like, look, it's gonna get real serious because when it gets serious. He's not, he's not, Yahweh is going to hide himself, man. You know what I'm saying? He's presenting himself now, but, mm -hmm. you know, once, once things pop off, Yahweh he's not going to present himself, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Like the scriptures talk about, you know, foolishness of preaching, you know, which mm -hmm. ultimately, you know, it, it's really uh, foolishness and folly to Yahweh Shemah you know? But it's uh, deemed as something foolish to these people walking around. They see us doing this, and it's like, man, they 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 not getting any money from this. They're like, what are they doing? You know. But ultimately, you know, this is something that's more high level than than people could even fathom or think, man. This is something that's uh, life or death right here, man. Kind you know, if you don't take heed, you know, this is how most high has it set up, man. That warning, man. You know, we're warning the people, man, to turn back to our power before it's too late. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Jumping now to 32. Time, brother. It says, Proverbs 1 and 30, 32, it says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's simple and plain. You know, oh, you might as well read 33 as well. Right? Con. It says, But so hearkeneth unto me, stock you. Proverbs 1 33 says, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Right. Yeah. Why? Because they 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 listened while the prophets was was among them. They didn't, 
you know, wait until the prophecies of the prophets came to pass and be like, oh, a prophecy was a prophet was among me. You know what I'm saying? They 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 took heed and hearkened to the prophets, and that's how they was hid from the from the, from the things that was coming forth from the prophecies, man. You know, that's 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 how it works, man. You know, you have to hearken, take heed, so you can escape what's to come. You know what I'm saying? Or you just gonna have memories of what you what, what it could have been. You know what you could have did. You know what I'm saying? Or how you should have. You know how you should have listened. You know. Mm hmm. Right. Right. That was it on that. Yeah, that was it, brother. You got me thinking about one of my favorites, Wisdom Five. Oh yeah, Khan. Yep. You want me to get it for you? This is a. Oh, no. Um, start from the top. Yep. Uh, this uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter five and verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, but before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Con righteous man, you know, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, we're more righteous than our neighbor, and ultimately, you know, the men on the highways and byways, the prophets, you know the ones that were sent forth, you know, really the apostles who were sent forth, you know, to, to be shepherds, you know, to feed the sheep, you know, righteous are bold as a lion. We're going to be bold as a lion, you know, before the faces of, of all the afflictions, man, you know, different scoffers, all right, ultimately the oppressor, you know, who's not going to make any account, you know, that's really coming up, you know, against the saints, man, that's wearing out the saints. Mm -hmm. It says, when they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear. And should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Right. Because they wasn't looking for you, how They wasn't it was looking for, you know, T D Jakes, you know, what's that uh Edomite, you know, that the, the other pastors, uh, you Joel know, Olsteen. different belief, Joel Osteen, you know, different belief systems, you know, following after Kemet. You know, where we uh camp at, you know, there's a line every time we go out to camp, there's a line. Of people, you know, uh, just to get some stones, you know, some precious uh, stones was ultimately all things were made for our sakes. But they rather, you know, wait online for some stones than hear the words of Yahweh Bashi and Hashem. They ain't looking for them, man. You know, they want to astral project. But ultimately, you know, the true men of the Lord are going to astral project in a sense, right? Mm, kind of. Yeah. Another point on that too. You don't forget about the line of the people that just sit there. And stand in line to get their palm red to hear the future when we're telling you the things that's coming down the pipelines in the mm. future. <laughs> mm. You know? Yep. Um, verse three, it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Right. So they wasn't they 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 didn't care like we brought up, man, you know. Back in Proverbs one, you know, they 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 don't they don't care, man. You know, a lot of our people, hey man, like most I spoke to Ezekiel and told him, you know, I believe it's well early in the, in the in the book, you know, whether they hear or forbear, man. You know, a lot of times, you know, we're gonna be prophesying to the wind. You know, we're gonna be talking to uh, stiff neck people, scoffers, you know, people who want to minister unto the to the prophets. You know, thinking that they're gonna uh, tell us something, give us some type of uh, you know a revelation. You know. And ultimately, if they held their peace, you know, and really took heed, all right, had some type of, uh, if they knew what they were talking, like, uh, it's lucky, but, you know, Hebrews 13, 1, they, they want, they not entertain angels unawares, you know, like I even tell you, you know, the last time we was at camp, I was kind of just vexed at just people walking. I was just looking at them. They just not even pay no mind. They just, just so caught up in their own world. And it's just like, you know, I was starting to get vexed. That's probably why I was kind of like, you know, silent a little bit, you know. Darn, but it's just like a lot of our people, man, you know, they just so far gone, you know, low willing, you know, they, they get it and understand, you know, but it's going to be a time where like, hey, man, the gates of repentance ain't going to be open anymore. You know, they're going to seek you. How about you, my shop? It's going to be too late. Mm. Yep. Verse four, it says, we fools accounting his life madness and his end to be without honor. How right. is he? What's it like Right, that, that's basically where they, where, they, where they where they see it, man. You know, they see the prophets. They're like, yeah, let's go ahead and just walk this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Social distancing. You know, they they more <laughs> worry about having a face mask and staying six feet. 
you know, then hearing the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, which ultimately can, uh, you know, have have true true life, right? Being redeemed, right, from the low state where we are, man. People who are, uh, you know, sick from these plagues, you know, or uh, working at a job, you know, and they have to deal with particular things. We could give them uh, that true good news, you know, but, you know, instead of that, they're going to account, you know, our whole purpose, you know, low willing, this is our life. They're counting our life madness, man, and our entity without honor. Mm -hmm. It says, how is he numbered among the children of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and his lot is among the saints? You got it. Con. Yeah, so like the brother was saying, like, you know, a, a lot of a lot of our people, they just walk by, you know, just continue on with their daily, so to speak, lives. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, activities or festivities, festivities they're involved in, you know what I'm saying? And just disregard, you know, uh, you know, the highest, the highest level of knowledge that's on the planet. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come to a point where they're gonna be like, Oh, those those men that we just thought was just insignificant and was just just some guys just talking. You know what I'm saying? They was giving me the keys unto salvation. They was giving me the keys on what it took for, you know, me to be delivered through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah, through the spirit and power of the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're going to be looking at it. Like, oh, those men were literally angels. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother, you know, alluded to in uh, Hebrews, the 13th chapter. You know what I'm saying? About being not forgetful to entertain, entertain strangers unaware. You know what I'm saying? Because we are angels. We're messengers. We're the messengers of Yahweh Shem Shah. You know? So, you know, a lot of a lot of people they're gonna be like, damn, those 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 men, you know what I'm saying, who um, uh, you know, was you know out there pouring their hearts out, you know, with those Bibles in the hand, their hands, these men were the saints of the most high. These these men were the, you know, these were the representatives of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, Lord willing, that's us, you know. Mm -hmm. Um whew. uh can I yeah. read? Can I read six, seven, and eight, uh, Baba Kasha? Come, on, bro. Come. On. Um, verse six. It says, "Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We weary ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yet yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it." What have pride profited us, or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? Mm -hmm. Like the other week, young Jake pulled up on us, you know, like he he was like, you know, standing there, and then he ended up kind of interrupting a little bit just to ask a question, like, yeah, what y'all doing? You know, he was kind of telling him what we doing. And then like, yeah, so how can I, um, you know, sell my shirts on your platform? Like, bro. <laughs> Y'all, you worry more about, you know, that than what we're actually speaking about. Like, our people, man, you know, like their mind is just so, um, I mean, they, they worry about the wrong things, man. You Time, know, bro. a little willing they repent, man. Time, bro. Time, bro. You know, because, yeah, man, you know, because the, these are the things that our people are going to be saying when, you know, if, if they do not repent, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I should have right. repented. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like the things that you, the things that you highly valued or the think, you know, the thoughts that you was having in your mind, that's not going to profit you nothing. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in the day of wrath, man. You know, tell you how righteousness delivers from death, man. You know, and, and in the time of death, you know, you ain't going to be worried about pleasures. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be worried about, you know, you know, what, you know, fulfilling your devices. You're going to be worried about trying to survive, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important. To take heed now, man. You know, because when when things really pop off, you're gonna be like, Man, I should have just I should have just like really tried to see what was going on, man. I mean, all the stuff that I was involved in, that ain't they don't even mean nothing, man. Them them, them shirts I was trying to sell, <laughs> man. This shit ain't nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yep. Yeah, so um yeah i got one uh Sirach 21 i'm at Sirach 22 6 and 7 bible uh, 6 7 and 8 bible kasha right. Sirach 22 and verse 6 it says a tale out of season is as music and mourning but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time 
Mm, you see, it's a, a tale of a, a tale out of season is as music and mourning, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, you know, um, ultimately, you know, like um, when we're when we're teaching, it's like a uh, it's it's a it's, it's like it's it's like out of season for um, you know a vast majority of our people. They're like. <laughs> Well, I don't want to hear this right now. Like you're interrupting what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like if you was mourning for somebody, and somebody throw some, you know, cash money for the nine nine and the two thousand. You like, man, turn this shit <laughs> off, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm, 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 I'm mourning right now. I don't want to hear that, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's how in similar to our people feel when we teach it, like on a Saturday evening. You know what I'm saying? They out trying to go get something to mm -hmm. eat with their family. You know what I'm saying? They trying to, you know. Uh, go link up with some females, you know what I'm saying? They trying to, you know, go have some fun, do their thing, you know what I'm saying? You got somebody telling them, man, hey, man, you need to stop doing the things you're doing and, you know, go 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 read the Bible, go pray, you know what I'm saying? Go find out who the true Lord is. They like, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit right now, man, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, But it said, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and stripes and correction of wisdom can come through uh, uh, adversity. You know what I'm saying? Because like uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, used to always say, uh, when words won't teach you, adversity will. You know what I'm saying? That it, 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 at some point, like words might not always teach you, but the, but that adversity, when you get them, when you get them stripes on your back, when you get your mm -hmm. ass whooped, that's when you learn. You know what I'm saying? That they ain't mm -hmm. ever gonna come out of season. That'll always teach you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> right. <coughs> Verse uh, seven. Mm -hmm. Whoso teacheth the fool is as one that glueth a pot shirt together, and as he walketh, one from sounds like it. Uh, so Rock 22 and 7 it says, Whoso teacheth a fool is as one that glueth a pot shirt together, and as he that waketh one from sound sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's. And you know, the, you know, the 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 the, uh, the truth of the matter is, the vast majority of our people are foolish, man. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 engulfed in in, in in folly, man. You know what I'm saying? Even like you quoted earlier, you know, um, uh, the foolishness of preaching. Even mm -hmm. us preaching is foolishness, man. You know what I'm saying? This is like you shouldn't have to be told that you should to do what you created to do. You shouldn't be have have to be told to do something that's common sense you know what i'm saying you shouldn't have to be told to you know yeah, to you. It's lucky. no you good you know you, sh you shouldn't have to be told to do things that are you know like come on basic logic man you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like this th that's why it's foolishness you know what i'm saying but you know, but but point is though the vast majority of, of our people are fools man you know because they can't even mm -hmm. take heed unto foolishness you know mm -hmm. And it says, and it says, uh, as as one that he that teaches a fool is as one that wake up one from a sound sleep. And we know Romans th the thirteenth chapter tell us about how uh, the night has been far spent. You know, our people, we've been sleep for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? We've been discontinued from our heritage for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? Going over 400, 500, you know, six hundred years, man. You know what I'm saying? Even before that, you know what I'm saying? Our people been you know, you know, discontinue from their our, our, our heritage, but, but but never like to the point we are now. But you have you know Yahabashi Masha, you know, re revealing the ways of righteousness back unto us, like opening us back unto you know, uh, you know the the way we're supposed to be living it, living. But you know, people was like comfortable in you know being discontinued from their heritage. They got like that's the, that's the new them now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, mm -hmm. I ain't trying to like, I, I don't, I don't want to be nothing different. I just want to stay how I am. So. Mm -hmm. It says, you said read down? Yes, yeah, just read eight. This is it. So rock 22 and eight. He that telleth a tale to a fool speaketh to one in slumber. When he had told his tale, he would say, what is the matter? God said, so he that tell a tale to 
a fool speak to one in slumber when he have told his tale, he will say, what is the matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't worried about what the hell is going on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really, like, it was just, it's just like prime example, um, like how you was mentioning, um, with the, uh, with the Jake, we was, we, we was talking like, okay, we're the children of God. We need to live a certain type of way. Dude just straight up walked away, man. He just straight up walked away. Like we wasn't even <laughs> telling them nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, like you pouring out your heart to him. Like, man, look, you how about see my shape and to come judge us, man. We need to get back right. We've been, we've been disrespecting him for, for a long time, man. He want us to get, you know, he want us to do the right thing. And you, he's just like, man, I ain't, you know. That's cool. Just just throw up throw throw the hand up on it. You know what I'm saying? That's wild, man. <laughs> yeah, that was it on that. Kind of. What you got? Uh I just got one more. I don't know if you got any more. Um, I mean, I might have one, well, well, but what you got? The brother, uh, Kazak just, uh, dropped, we say Jeremiah 5. 21. You said, you said you got one more? Um, I'm, I might. Okay. Um, kind of, yeah, Jeremiah 5, 21 to 31, yep. I'm gonna, read, I'm gonna read that. This uh Jeremiah chapter five and verse twenty one. It says, "Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not." That remind me of that lesson I was gonna do called uh, spiritual senses. You know. Oh. Um. It says, "Uh, fear ye not me," said the Lord Yahabashim Yashah. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea? by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they war, yet can they pass not over it? <laughs> That's wild. It says, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They're revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, our power, Yahweh Shemashah, that give us rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserved us unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest it says your iniquity have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you and a prime example of the good things that's been held from our people is this word man you know what i'm saying because the, the, the words of yahweh yahweh shah and their proper form and this proper doctrine can relieve our people and uh give our people rest in their souls from you know uh from from not knowing the proper way to live or not knowing the proper way to go you know it, it can help them from you know being faced with trouble or affliction or adversity you know what i'm saying these are things that have been withheld held from you know a vast majority of our people because they want to continue in sin they want to continue to uh you know add sin upon sin you know when you like and you get so filthy you get to a point where you're just unsavageable you know what i'm saying which we were once filthy as well you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, you know, Yahabashima Shah cleanses us and we could be delivered. You know, but mm -hmm. it gets to a point like where it's just like, man, I can't even, I can't deal with you no more. You know what I'm saying? They get to a point as well. You get so far gone in wickedness, you like, I don't even know what righteousness is no more. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay, lay wait as he that set of snares, they say trip, they catch men. As a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. They are wax and fat. They shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in the right of the needy. Do they not judge? Shall I not visit for these things? Said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely 
and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Yeah, what will you do in the end thereof, man? You know, our our you know our people they love to have it so. Our people love, you know, uh, you know the the ways of unrighteousness. You know, you know they would they would take heed unto uh to wickedness before they take heed unto righteousness. They'll take heed unto uh doing things that are adverse to the ways that you have by Shema Shah then then uh then doing the things that you have by Shema Shah desires of, of us, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But yeah, that was it. You uh you said you got one more out? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was gonna get one of the favorites. Kind right, brother. In the twenty eighth chapter. This is the prophet Jeremiah twenty eight and um start of verse eight. It says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right, so that's the prophets who came before Jeremiah and uh, the prophets after Jeremiah are going to be doing these things, prophet, prophesying, you know, against uh, great kingdoms, all right, and countries of war, evil, and pestilence. And that's what we're doing, you know. And we're in a time of evil, all right. We see what's going on now, and this is something that we've been speaking about, like we was bringing out. This is something that we spoke about, you know, about 20 months ago. He was talking about this devil, you know really about this overall time that we're approaching, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know? War, evil, and pestilence, man. Verse 29, it says, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, hath truly sent him. You got it? All right, bro. Yeah, so, you know, if you got a prophet telling you that, you know, okay, uh, all you gotta do is just, you know, do the best you can and say that you love Jesus and you'll be okay. Or, you know, <laughs> you got a prophet telling you that, okay, you can, you can live uh, this type of way, but it's not the ways that you have, way you have a shot, you know, or pleased with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and you, you're going to have peace and be okay. You know, we, we're going to find out what, what words are, tr are truly true. You know what I'm saying? We're going to find out the words that are truly true when 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 the prophecies really start to come to pass you know because it says then shall it be known who is my chosen you know what i'm saying the the man of the lord is going to be known as his chosen because they're going to be the ones who was literally living how he told them to live to the best of their abilities upon the earth and they're going to receive grace and mercy you know what i'm saying the other ones who weren't you know they're not going to receive no grace and mercy and that's how they're going to be identified as the uh true prophets of the lord you know That's right. Um, and uh, I was uh, I, I, I had one more. Oh yeah, you know we might as well end at Amos uh, Amos eight because I had another one, but it's I'm gonna just scratch that one and get that Amos. Ah, uh, Amos eight. Let me yes. start. Uh, like eleven through thirteen. Is, is it eleven through thirteen? Come on, this is the prophet Amos chapter eight and verse eleven. It says, "Behold." The days come, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hal Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hal Shai. Mm -hmm. it says, verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hal Shai, and shall not find it. Yep, that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but she my is gonna eventually just be like, okay, you don't want to take heed to the things that I'm giving you a heads up on. Like I'm giving you a heads up on what to do to escape the things that's coming down the pipeline. I'm giving you a heads up on you know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a heads up on you know these these different um you know parables of of, of knowledge and wisdom. If you don't want to take heed to, I'm gonna take it away from you, and you're gonna be looking for it, but you ain't gonna find it. And that's what's gonna happen, cause a lot, a lot of, a lot of our people are gonna be like, damn, those was the prophets, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be too late, cause the prophets gonna be gone, you know. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's, that's that's all I got. Con, con. Yeah. Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yehoshai, Hashem, Waka, Kadash. Of the honors the apostles and elders who were well. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim, enduring afflictions, making a calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. DTA. Bob, Bob.